All right, it's October 12th, 2022. I am out today just trying to fill an extra doe tag I drew this year in Idaho. Um, last two years I've drawn this tag. Just an easy way to put some meat in the freezer. I'm in a public land spot that's surrounded by a bunch of private. And it's kind of a transitional area, so the deer will come off the fields um, from feeding down into their beds and I uh, have had good success catching them in that transition. Uh, I'm packing my 6.5 Grendel today. It's a gun I built about a year and a half ago. Um, haven't been able to take an animal with it yet. It's a little bit smaller caliber than I like to use, but I've heard good things about it for deer. Um, I just haven't used it yet because I had some issues with the barrel right off the bat, so got a new barrel on it and uh, it's shooting really well on paper right now, so I'm going to try and put a deer down with it, see how it performs. So I'm going to sneak into this spot, it's dark, and hopefully uh, get set up. Just shot a doe my son's with me um, I didn't get the kill shot on camera because a group of deer came up behind us and snorted and so I crept back behind us over the ridge and popped one as it disappeared um, so it was a quick shot uh, anyways think dude Huh? What do you think? There was a buck with her, and Avery wanted me to shoot him, right? No. You said shoot, but he's a four corn. I'm not going to waste another tag yet. It's not even November. You got to get a big buck. I do Well, this was a doe tag I had to fill, so. Anyways, it's a good shot, yeah? Yeah. She was quartering hard away, so point to the entrance wound, Avery. So it went in right there, and if you flip her over, see where it came out? Grab her head and pull her this way. Grab her ears. Yank her over this way. Can you flip her over? Nope. Okay, you see pull. She might have left her ears out. Pull that all over. Grab her tail. And pull over. Flip her over. Good. Hey, where's the entrance? Exit is right, right there. there? How, there's nothing. Yeah, feel that, the bullets, the bullets oh, yeah. right there. Yeah, I feel it. It's a bone. Oh yeah, it's a bullet. There's the bullet. Wow. So, 6.5 Grendel. Mushrooms like crazy. Destroyed her. But uh, did not get a pass through. And went through the shoulder and stopped in the hide on the other side. Still pretty uh, happy she died within like 40 yards, but there's absolutely no blood just because of no pass through. But uh, we saw where she yeah. went. All right, bud. Let's get her uh, gutted and over to the road. Um, and we'll go get our cart. I blood already. That's hunting. This is actually my second day into this spot. Um, I didn't film much the first day, uh, the 12th. I didn't see anything that morning at all, just some turkeys. So I brought Avery today, he's got his shotgun. And we got on a group of hens this morning, or actually more like two hours ago probably, yeah? 
Huh? Got on those turkeys a couple hours ago. Yeah. Got like 70 yards from them, but we couldn't get a shot. Um, they just disappeared. Huh? They just disappeared. Yeah. He crawled under like a ditch and then they just disappeared. Yeah. We saw one more. So we went back to deer hunting and um, yeah, we were set up okay. for the evening and these deer came up actually in a weird spot. How many were Three of them. Three? And uh, I shot this one just before she disappeared over the ridge. So get her cleaned up and to the logging road over here and go back to the truck and get the cart. Yeah. You gonna gut her for me? tag cut technically supposed to do that before we start gutting her and stuff but so it is october do you know what day it is october 5th 15th no, yesterday was your birthday oh, so yeah. today is the 15th something cool that i do is i always keep the notches from the tags of all the animals i shoot and i also keep the empty shell now, shooting that semi-auto AR platform, couldn't find the shell because it ejected it and it's the exact same color as all that. Same color as all the grass, so we are not going to find the shell, but we'll keep the notches. And there we go, she's all tagged. We are headed back to the truck to get the cart. Um, get this deer out of here man I highly suggest getting a deer cart because they make it so easy we'll show you here in a minute especially if you hunt by yourself or with little kids flip up yep so this will flip like this oh cool and it'll be an actual cart. do you have two I'll just grab a flashlight you have two. We'll just run a flashlight for now. Okay. Yeah. A couple minutes. Uh -oh. Alright, let's go. This isn't the biggest doe in the world, but big does are heavy. She's still heavy. Right here, centered on here. You have to tie that around the legs. Huh? Why do you have to tie that around the legs? Um, this is to keep her legs from dragging in the dragging in the tires. Uh oh. We're headed out to the truck, and Dad's got it all loaded up. And now we're gonna be going and eating some deer. Sometimes. Keep pulling. It's not heavy. That you do it. Tied this knot a lot tighter than I thought I did. This webbing bites on itself pretty good. Alright. So we'll get her in before she hits the mud and the dirt. Oh, hit the dirt anyways. It's a heavy dough. I thought you said it was small. Oh, and also you said no, it was she's heavy. Just not, she's not the biggest doll I've ever shot, but she's pretty heavy. Is she the heavier, heaviest doll? A lot heavier than I thought she might be. Is and she the hard. heaviest doll? Okay, so usually it's cooling down quick. Um, if you're not close to home, usually you want to get her 
get them uh, skinned out pretty quick. But we're only an hour from home, and it's it's cooling off quick. Like I would say, it's. I like the weather right now. Yeah, it's supposed to be cold tonight, like 40. So. I'm wearing hot clothes. We'll and be fine. I like we'll get her home, get her up on the winch, and uh, skin her out when we get home. So get this cart put up real quick. Oh, we're headed home. Was that a good hunt, bro? Yeah, yeah. very good. We uh, came out here, I think it was on the 12th, and I made a video early in the morning, which I'll put on this one too. And uh, mornings are usually really good out here. I didn't say a dang thing, so I didn't film anything. And uh, I saw some turkeys on my way home. And Avery here, he can't hunt big game till next year, but you have a turkey tag, so. We saw some. Yeah, we did. Um, yesterday was your birthday, so we uh, did some fun things yesterday and thought, well, why not? Uh, and uh, Avery brought a shotgun along. I've got a extra doe tag that I draw every year. That I always try to fill in October because you generally don't see a lot of real big bucks in October, so I usually spend that time just filling my doe tag and taking Avery out a little bit. So we came out here with the intention to try to shoot a doe and maybe find those turkeys again, which we did both. We found the turkeys, and uh, I'm not a big turkey hunter, I'm more of just an opportunist, and so we saw the turkeys about probably 85 yards, you think? Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, kind of went into a ditch and up the over the other side to try to get a shot at him. And they were just disappearing. Yeah, they pegged us pretty quick, so that was kind of a bust. And then we got set up for the evening and had three deer walk in on us below, and I was able to. Your shots. Peg, yeah, I was able to peg one of them, and of course I didn't turn my camera on. I totally didn't even think about it because I was trying to worry more about getting a good shot on this doe before she disappeared over the ridge so I didn't take the time to turn my camera on so anyways no kill shot but we got lots of other footage headed home now